Today we're going to go over a couple different methods for cutting cordage and rope as well as how to secure their ends. All right, the first method we're going to do is uh, cutting it with a simple knife. We have a piece of 550 paracord as well as a piece of nylon uh, 516 rope. Um, this one's pretty straightforward. Simply uh, put a bite, slide it along the blade, and it cuts. A couple different downfalls of this method is it tends to pull the uh, internal strands out. And when you do uh, bind the ends, well, such as with a lighter, it makes a pretty big gut. The same thing happens with the uh, larger rope. Uh, you get a pretty big fray, and when you do decide to melt that, uh, you also get a big gob. And the next method that most people are gonna be comfortable using is a pair of scissors. Uh, with this one, again, you take your bite, um, place them at the uh, base of the scissors, and just cut it. But again, I'm not a real big fan of this one. It causes the end to fray quite a bit, as well as uh, makes a not a very square edge. And you can see that same thing on the uh, larger rope as well. Okay. And again, you have a lot of fraying at the end, uneven uh, square end. This is definitely not my preferred method. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and talk about the preferred method that I use for cutting rope and paracord. Uh, I don't know if you guys are gonna recognize these, but they are simply dog nippers, uh, dog nail nippers, and they work really, really well. The biggest thing that I like about them is that they hold the cord in place, so it's not trying to push out of the scissors or um, off of the knife. Simply just put it in there, give it a snip, and it does come off really well. Uh, gives you a nice square edge. You can also do it with larger, basically anything, as long as it fits in between the jaws, obviously, you can go ahead and snip it, and it does a really nice clean job. All right, let's go ahead and secure the end um, with a light. Hold the end uh, just to the bottom of the flame until it starts melting. We'll go ahead and do that same thing with the larger rope, uh, holding the flame just to the end. Uh, now, you need to be really careful. If you do touch this uh, melted nylon, it will stick to your fingers and it does hurt. But again, you can see that there's a large gob on the very end of it. And this is my preferred method. It's a, a type of whipping, it's called a sailor's whip. And the end on this one is not melted, so it is nice and soft. It gives you a little bit of rigidity when you are threading that knot as well. So we'll go ahead and uh, talk a little bit about this one. All right, pull off about three feet. Don't. The next thing we're gonna do is form a bite in the thread, and we're gonna go ahead and lay that on the end. And we'll go ahead and just wrap around it, as well as the rope. Make sure you do this nice and tight. You'll be wrapping about one and a half to two times the diameter of the rope should be the length of your whip. And make sure to take your time. This is not going to come loose, so you wanna take your time and make it right the first time. So it's nice, neat, clean. And 
And then every once in a while I'm stopping and really cranking down on that thread. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off the excess of our twine. We'll hold it in place, come up through our loop with our other working end. And then we simply pull. All right, we're gonna get a hold of a pair of pliers and pull that whip, that uh, end underneath the whipping. It's gonna be pretty hard, but you can kind of see that it's moving underneath that whipping. It's right about here now. So it's halfway under. We'll go ahead and take our nippers, cut off that thread. It does a real nice clean job. Same thing on the bottom. And then depending on how much tough you want at the end, go ahead and uh, decide that and then cut that off. So now we have a nice secure, but yet soft end on our rope. We've gone over three different ways of cutting cordage and rope, with the preferred being the dog nippers. Uh, we also went over different ways of securing the end with a lighter on small items such as paracord. You can also use that lighter on the larger rope, but the preferred is going to be the whipping. If you did find this video useful or did enjoy its content, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you uh, would like to talk in the comments below about your guys' preferred method of cutting and cordage and rope, please let me know and we can have a good conversation. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.